going on there, YouTube? Back again, Chop Toys. This one is an old Survivor truck that I've had. Um, it's a 58 Tonka farm truck. It's got the state bed. It's really, it's probably a, I'd give it a 6 in condition. And the body's straight, the chassis straight. It's very solid, it's just got some rust issues and all the, all the shiny bits are dull and all that, but the thing that makes this truck special is it has all of the stakes for the stake bed. You see these so often. I see, f I mean, these are pretty common trucks. The farm stuff, they, I guess they've made a lot more of than some of the other trucks of the day. But uh, <clears throat> you never see them with the stakes. Now, you can buy aftermarket stakes, and I've seen even, even people on eBay selling custom wood ones that they've made and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I've actually had a set of the wood ones, and they're very nice. But there's no replacement for the old metal, the old metal stuff. So uh, again, this is a '58. It's got the four ribs on the hood, the T in the grill, not the bumper, and it's got the black wall wheels with the five-hole hubcaps. Um, it's just a survivor truck. The stakes did come off another truck. I think I bought them on eBay, oh, eight or ten years ago. <clears throat> but you see, you see this farm truck at every antique store. They, they've got one, and they want. 80 to 150 dollars for them and they're really not worth it and if it has the stakes on it something like this would probably actually be worth 150 bucks um but yeah let me give you a walk around here so up front the majority of the rust is on the hood um some of the colors that tonka did the the blue pickup mainly like the 58s those were one of the most common ones they did and whatever paint they used it almost has like a metallic essence or it's like a like a uh a, well, the Hot Wheels have the Spectre Flame, where it, it, you can almost, it almost utilizes the metal underneath to make the paint look a certain way. It's almost translucent, that's what I'm trying to get at, I guess. And this green was, was very similar to that. And uh, the bronze color and the 60-61 pickups, and they did not last worth a crap. They all have rust like this. Any scratch immediately rusted. It rusted underneath the paint, and the paint just falls off. Um, some of the other colors, like the tan, like the sportsman pickup, um, the, the reds and stuff, they seem to hold up a lot better than, than the blues and the greens. But um, this truck is spectacularly straight, it just doesn't have a whole lot of paint on it. Now, realistically, this truck would probably be a good candidate for full restoration, but it's, it's all there. I mean, this is all original stuff, except for the mud flaps. I, I did add the mud flaps, they are replacement parts. Because that's another thing, you'll never find a farm truck with the original mud flaps for a reasonable price. But we've got all of our lights, and they are pretty banged up. But the grill is not a dent in it. The bumper is perfectly straight. Everything on the front end is nice and straight. Even the ori original windshield is in pretty good shape. It could be bu buffed out to perfect. Um, <clears throat> the A-pillars, there's no damage to them. Just a really, really nice, solid truck slide it here you kind of look down the side there's just not not a dent not a ding our bottom lip here is perfect really really straight straight piece same thing on the other side so you can see the sticker it's got a little bit of cut in it and you can see the residue the the actual framing of the sticker and it's crooked it's a lot of these were they didn't take a whole lot of uh perfection in their sticker placement on these trucks it's just I find hilarious because it's so much work and effort went in to make the, the metal components and everything. And then the stickers are just like, stick them on and go. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, it's in, it's in pretty good shape. You can see the mud flaps there. These have the uh, they have little tabs on the bottom. It may be broken off if you're looking at getting one of these <clears throat> farm trucks. That's something to check. Look underneath. There should be two little metal tabs that bend around and hold the mud flaps in place. That's another... Another key component. It's out back, you can kind of see the mud flaps. My lighting in here is not working well with this dark color. You can see it there. <laughs> but these stakes, <clears throat> they're in excellent original condition. And like I said, these are all metal. These are all stamped. So you've got our, our stakes and then you have the post. And they're actually pushed through and folded in. Tabs are folded out. And uh, yeah, it's just, just fantastic stuff. They have pretty good wear on them. Some of them fit pretty snug, some of them are pretty loose. But finding one with those is is 
pretty uncommon. I went to some antique stores today and I think I went to about four antique stores and I probably saw six farm trucks with no mud flaps and no stakes and a couple with no grills or bumpers <laughs> and they were they were way overpriced but uh you know they I've taken a lot of these trucks and used them for parts, the cabs and stuff. I've got a lot of the green cabs from the 58 that I've sandblasted and, and used for other projects because they are so common. And uh, that's good and bad about them. But they do have to be sandblasted because, the again, the paint is pretty horrible on them. Here's a close-up underneath. <clears throat> you can see the metal tabs here that hold the mud flaps. They just hang off of there. They're punched through and they just round it up. And uh, most of the time they're still in place. They are pretty sturdy, but that's something to look for if you're in the market for one of these. Um, again, this one's got pretty good tires. Now, the farm truck, it's kind of odd. you think it would have duals. It's got the tractor, semi-tractor frame, so it's narrower at the rear. The rear axle is shorter than the front. And that makes the tires sit way underneath like a dually so you put duels on it and it was still set underneath the bed but that's not how they came they came with a little skinny back axle and a wider front axle and uh, I'm sure that was just a, a cost thing but uh, another thing like little things to look for like these chassis you can see that it has a second hole here and those were used for I don't remember what it's not not a very common thing so you, I've seen some of these at antique stores that look nice original that axle's in that back hole, and that's not how they came. They came in the front hole, puts the axle dead centered in the bed, not offset. Um, I've done some custom ones with these chassis, lifted and stuff like that, and I'll mount them further back, give it a little better look. But, uh, you know, it's not, not an original thing, so that's something to look for. Um, this one had a hitch. You can see the provision there. It had the uh, wire style trailer hitch, because it's pulled a like a horse trailer in some of the sets that they they sold and that is long gone but really I mean you could make it out of a coat hanger getting it in there would be a challenge because it is in between these two pieces the bed floor is made from two pieces that are again has pent tabs folded over all the way around holding them together and uh, yeah you know you find with a lot of rust it's it's with stuff like that uh, a lot of the dump trucks have rust issues because where metal is folded over and closely like that that's a boxed component so you've got a quarter inch gap in there that's not painted <laughs> and it's just set forever so the little kid decided to uh, throw it in a pond back in the day your bed floor might be rotten out from the inside and uh, I, I will say I've restored two or three dump trucks I should have learned after the first one they are horrible horrible to do it's just getting it all little nooks and crannies it's all boxed steel and it's folded in and it's it's definitely a challenge to restore a dump truck bed and again the cab on those is the same so no big deal looking at the bed floor this one's pretty solid got about the same amount of rust as the rest of the truck no nothing nothing to worry about it's a good solid truck it'd be an excellent candidate for a full paint job and polish and restoration but uh i don't know i like my rust Anyway guys, that's just another shelf warmer I have. Another decent original truck that I'm hanging on to and we'll see what happens to it one day. I appreciate you watching and uh, appreciate still being interested in these old trucks like I am. I hope, uh, hope you got a good collection going and uh, yeah, see you on the next one.